Yo, what's good? Welcome to the FYI podcast today. And um, I've got a, I've got a big guest today still. I've um, got Cairo Keys with me. What's going on, my brother? Yeah, bro. Love for you. having you. Yeah, no, thank you for your time still. So, like, this thing is a segment where I'm trying to do where, like, every big moment in culture, um, I'm trying to, like, celebrate it and ask about it because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of fans out there, like, when they see these big moments that they, like, they want to know so much about it and I want to uncover everything about these things as well even myself as a fan of the culture you get what I'm saying so um with you having such a like one of the biggest songs in 2024 yeah um I thought yeah let me sit down with you let's un let's unpack that song because like the youths the youths are loving it bro the other day my dad was playing basketball I started doing basketball training in it so I was in the yeah. park just doing basketball training and there was like two little youths and <laughs> They had that on repeat. Um, they had it on repeat on their phone, and I was just laughing, thinking, "Right, oh, this shit's really going off." You go. So, congratulations for yourself for that. Still, I appreciate it, bro, man. Thank you for. All right, I want to start first year, just a like a back the back to we start from the beginning. In that, like, where were you at your career before gang? Like, where exactly were you as a career? What was going on? Just take me through that moment. What, like, just before gang? Yeah, just before, yeah. Mad thing, bro. Mad thing. But long story short, I was going through the worst of the worst, innit? Okay. You know, that like, housing situation, that like, the whole of 2023, not knowing what sound to come with, just all the problems that you could think of. Um, you know what I'm saying? Friends switching up, all types of stuff, which made man be able to be alone more, innit? So when, when I was alone now, I was thinking of plans, like I was writing stuff down, watching documentaries, trying to figure stuff out. And then, yeah, by the time I got to January of this year, I was like, I need to execute the plan that I've written out. And I just started executing that with TikTok, social media, being more present on there. Even just changed a man's whole outlook on like, the music thing and how man's carrying myself in the music thing. If you look at man's old vids to now, I don't know, you should be able to see a difference that how much man's in the video or how I'm maneuvering in the video. I'm trying to be more, just be more proper. You know what I'm trying to say? Take the music thing more serious rather than how I was dealing with it before. So when you say change your outlook, that was the main thing, like to take it more serious. What, what, was, what, was, your, yeah. like, what was your outlook then? And what was your outlook this, when you say change your outlook? I thought I was taking it serious, but not really, because I was still, I was still like doing stuff that I was doing. So I couldn't really be taking it serious. I was still around certain things I should have been around, certain people I should have been around. And, um, yeah, bro, and I weren't really learning the business side of it. Even back then, bro, mm -hmm. like, man used to, um, I've, had, I've got other songs called like Foot Patrol, all these type of songs when I had a little come up in 2021. Mm -hmm. And man just used to upload them myself. Like, no, didn't, I didn't know about playlists, I just used to upload like the day before on Spotify, you know what I'm saying? So I just didn't take things serious, bro. I was just doing it my own way. Yeah. So, okay, so then you have to you change your outlook. Um, started taking it serious 2024 and um, looking at the business thing. so then let's first and foremost obviously let's go back to the step of cre actually creating gang right um, yeah. what, it was in the studio of the producer did someone send you the beat what was the process of the song being cr the, cr the creation of it I would say yeah um, so before gang there was trenches mm -hmm. came in with trenches so the producer was called Outlaw we linked up when we was first linking up in like December. That's when we, that's when we met, December mm. 2023. We was doing probably like the sound I was on before, like a bit of drill, melodic drill. And then one day I came to the studio and he was like, "No, nah, we need to try something different." But he was always on trying something different. But so was I. So then when he when he showed me the trenches beat, I jumped on that. Again, I didn't really think much of it, but all the guys around me were saying this one's mad. Mm -hmm. I put it on TikTok. When I put it on TikTok, it caught some traction. And then I was like, yeah, this is all our, this was part of the plan, isn't it? All I needed was some traction and I'm going to keep licking TikTok what, from there. When you say yeah. traction, what, what, what kind of numbers are we talking, accuracy? To make you think there's traction? But then I thought it was mad, but it wasn't even mad. It was like, I'd say like 100k. That's mad, bro. <laughs> like, you thought, remember, there's a lot, a lot of people getting that. Yeah, I know. That's why you, you got to stay humble. Because now yeah. I've seen way more than that. You know what I'm yeah. trying to say? So, the boundary's higher, but I've got 100k in a couple of days on one of the TikToks, and I think 200 recreates. Mm. So I just kept slapping the math 
that slap and bear TikToks out, and then after that, I made more songs in that bag, but obviously they ain't out yet. And then, then we came across Gang in April. Like, obviously, Broski went there, he made the beat. He didn't make the beat in front of me, but he had the beat. Played it to man, jumped on that. I think I made it in, like, 25 minutes. Mud. And you know when you're making yeah. it, when you're making it, did you have a, like, did you have a feeling, like... Nothing, bro. It's, nothing. Just, it's just another tune, in it? And I saw Love when you... Stone, I, I didn't really think nothing mad of it. I saw the Uso's the one. He said to me, bro, this, he always says it's hard, isn't it? But he was like, film this one, innit? I'm going to bring you into the main room of the studio so it's bigger and film it on your iPhone. So I was like, right, I didn't want to do it. I might not have a trim or nothing, innit? I was like, you know what? Let me just do it, bro. Done it. And then it was sitting on my phone for like a week. And I was like, you know what? Let me just let this one fly. And I flew it and then, yeah. Oh. Is that the video you didn't even know the bars to it? It was so fresh. Yeah, yeah, I just made it. Yeah, and it went off on TikTok, innit? That one, innit? That first one. Went yeah, off. you didn't even know the bars to it. And, and then, so, did, <laughs> no. did, did that do um, more numbers initially than the, the the Trenches one? Yeah, by far. By far. Was that your first? Was that, so, was that, so, you see the first one you posted where you didn't even know the lyrics, or you just threw it out there. Was that your first, yeah. like, real big viral moment? I feel like the whole thing's been a big viral moment. I don't feel... Because some men get the one thing. Yeah. If I put names out there, let's say like a, a hazy. Yeah. They get the one thing and then it's boom. They don't even really do nothing. It's just... It goes, in it? They get a viral moment. But man had to keep adding to it. Like, I made it a viral moment. Okay. The first TikTok I did to it, that would have stayed on like 200k views if I didn't keep attacking. Okay. Then, the next day, once I saw that, I was like, cool, let me, let me get the sound. You know what I'm saying? Like, I phoned my distribution. I was like, obviously, we've got to get the sound out there, the official sound out. Got the official sound out. Did a did another TikTok. That did 100K in a day. Did another TikTok two days later. Did another TikTok. Before you know it, some TikTok, TikToks were doing 300K in a day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But why that's still who doing what that's doing? That's making the first video. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what okay. I'm saying? Before you posted the first one, yeah. um, you didn't know, I thought the fans just loved it and it's gone off. You get it? And I thought when it's gone off, you've re- you realize, ah, right, cool, this is the tune of life. I didn't realize that you actually you saw potential and you actually carried on working on it intentionally. Yeah. Saw the views and I attacked it, bro. But yeah. It wouldn't have done what it's doing now if I didn't attack it. Mom. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's serious still. So you see, um, okay. So from when you've done the sound, you've put on TikTok, you've attacked it. How long to? Okay, when you've you've seen this, you've got the sound put on TikTok. Yeah. Because remember, you've uploaded it when you didn't even know the lyrics. From then, when you're attacking it, how long till you release it? Like on DSPs? I put it up. Like, second week in April, the song came out second week of May. Four weeks. Oh, so you, so you, so you was pushing it for four weeks before you dropped yeah. it? Oh, you dropped it for three and a half before you dropped it. Okay, cool. So by the time you dropped it, you didn't realise that, okay, there's a major anticip- 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 anticipation for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know when but I caught it? You're gone. You're uh, gone. But because, like I said, like, it didn't do, like, I don't, me personally, I don't feel like it did the craziest viral moment, like, some of these other guys' songs, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the packs and potions and that. So I was, there was still a bit of doubt. Like, yo, is it gonna, is it gonna go back into the streams, though? You know what I mean? Mm. Um, but yeah, it did. Because I caught onto it, I caught onto it when you've done it, um, it's bare people in a grey track, bare grey tracksuits. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. That's when I. That's when he caught my attention, innit? it? That's when I started. Yeah. That's when I started getting my attention to it. I'll, I'll be real. So, I, um, so you see, when you released it, again, I think it's got. I, I was doing some research. Um, big up my guy. Um, he helped me. UK rap numbers. I asked him a few questions. Um, yeah. he told me he done a million streams in um in a week, right? Five, five yeah. days. Yeah. Five. five, five well, even mad. Five, done a million streams in five days. Okay, so when that's dropped here yeah, and in five days you see a million streams, what are you thinking to yourself at that moment? Are you are you thinking now, Raul, we've got something? Nah, I knew from the 100k in a day. Swear down. The milli, the milli didn't re- mean much to man. See, I don't know, you might have not seen it, but there was a video, even UK Rap Numbers posted it. Yeah. Where man hits 100k in like maybe 20 hours. Man. Man spraying, man spraying a bottle. Yeah. And I even see people in the comments like, where's my man? getting excited about 100k, but 
man see in the head, bro. If it can hit 100k in 20 hours, I know man's good now. This is clear. Do you get? Okay. This is gems. You're giving me gems as well, you know? Yeah, like the milli don't mean nothing, though, because that... If, if the milli was the first day, cool. But if, it, if it's a million a month, still, obviously, you're, you're still grateful. But yeah. 100k in 20 hours, you know what time it is. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say, bro? Yeah. Do, do you know the milli's coming. Do you know what the, do you know what the maddest thing is as well, my brother? So... Again, another thing I was when I was doing my research here. Yeah. Cool, the million five days is, 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 is for for an emerging artist is, is, is very 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 impressive. A hundred k in a day is is mental, yeah. What's even more impressive is I didn't know this, bro. Right? That week when you released, you was the highest streaming UK like basically every UK rap song that dropped that Thursday that you yeah. dropped, gang. And there was some big hitters that week as well from UK rap. Yeah. There was a lot of big yeah. names, bro. Like you was the most streaming artist that week from the UK rap scene. That's that was when I looked at who dropped as well. Then I don't even want to because not only because I'm sensitive in it. I don't even want to mention names because they might think they're sensitive. But when I looked at everyone that dropped that week, and then see that you was the most streamed rap rapper that week from the UK, that was crazy because you was up against some heavy hitters. Did you did you know that? No, I knew that. That was another pop a pop a shot moment. Now that those are the type of moments where I understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, Made man proud, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When something like, moment, something. when something like that happens, someone like yourself who's been trying for a long time, because remember your journey's not been. That's why I love your journey as well, isn't it? Your journey hasn't been that. Oh, you've jumped on TikTok and boom, you're gone. You, you've been like you said, you've been working at this for a minute. You get it? There's been times where you've discouraged, you even wanted to quit. You said to me, isn't it? Yeah. So when a moment like this does eventually come, and then you're the most stream in the week that you drop. Like, what goes through your mind at that time? Like, what, 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 like? Bro, like, the main thing that I'd say has been going through my mind. Like I said, I feel like I went through bare shit through my whole career, but especially last year. What the main thing that goes through my mind is it all makes sense now. Do you get, mm -hmm. like, why I went through certain things? Maybe why certain relationships didn't last. Maybe why I had to take that L. Like, everything makes sense now. And I'll go through it all over again. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are the main things that go through my head. Like, even when I was having the pop up show, I had a little pop up show at Bear. I was pissed. No, I don't even go out, bro. I'll be real with you. I actually wanted to come to that. I was, I was, I was, no, no, no. Remember, I, I was going through like some obviously personal stuff, innit? I had a personal okay. situation. Remember, I told you, innit? A personal thing happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I couldn't come, innit? Like, I couldn't come. But, um, but that's, that's something that I actually wanted to attend. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy, like, same feeling there, bro. Like, that's all I really think about, like, yo, like, it's mad. Everything I went through now is all making sense. Mm. That's the only thing that goes through my head. And everyone showed up for that pop-up. That pop-up looked live, bro. It looked lit. Yeah. What made you do a pop-up for a single? Because people don't really do that. Um, shout out my distribution, graduation. Yeah. They, they presented that idea to me. Yeah, big them up. They, they... <laughs> Big them up because I've been working. They, 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 they've been in, like they've been supporting you a lot still. I can't lie. Big them up still. Yeah. Like I like them as well. Big up graduation. Um, I, I was gonna say. So at what point do you? Because it's, it's, it's what it's, again. It's, it's at a time where people are not really making hits. I think we're, the UK in general is struggling for hits. I can count with probably one hand how many hits has come out this year. Um, at what point do you realize you've got a cultural hit? Like you've got a song that when we think, when we look back at 20, 2024, you're gonna be one of the standout songs of that year. At what point do you realise that like, it's that now? What that like, that what that like, that, that you've what? got a hit? Like I've got like I've got one of the songs of 2020. When you think of black UK music in 2024, like and you look I would back, say just the not the, the hits just the, like just the numbers really. Yeah. Stream charts. Yeah. Once you see that, it's like man's got a hit. Yeah, it hit the numbers, right? Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah, yeah, and it's the impact as well, though. So it's the numbers, obviously numbers, but it's it's also the impact in the culture. You get, it? you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like because obviously you can have a hit, you could be telling everybody something to hit, but yeah, it's got twenty five on the street. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It always goes back to numbers. Yeah. So um, okay, at what point? Because I'm again, I, there was a okay. I come across the Jack Harlow thing at first year. I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah. I was thinking, right, this is an industry planting. And I was thinking yeah. them times, you might be Atlantic. I was thinking, because obviously Jack, Har Jack Harlow's at Atlantic, isn't it? So I was thinking, yeah. well, 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 how does Jack Harlow come up? But then I'm clocking that. You're not even, like, you're independent, bro. You've got nothing to do with Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, right, this is actually real. Like, Jack Harlow's fucking with this. 
So like, how does Jock Hollow fuck come across it? How did you find out about it? Because he put on his story. No, that, I should have asked him that. No. Yeah, I should have asked him that. I don't know how he came across you. Know? I should have asked him that. But how I came across him posting it, man's... Um, I just touched down to one writing camp. And then, yeah, I was checking my, um, you know, the request DM. Mm -hmm. And then I DM in there saying, Jack Carlo posted you, you're clear. So I automatically just went on his, his story. See it, bro. I was like, yo, man. That's how I made, um, that's how I made bro, my latest tune. Yeah, okay. That's why I'm kind of mentioning a lot of things about America. Like, the moment Jack did that, I was like to my manager, managed to get into the studio now. I've got things to say. <laughs> there. Yeah. Like, when I spoke to Jackie Tolman, something. Yeah. Like, yeah, I need to get to work. He followed you, know, you as well, didn't he? I saw he followed you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, really fucking with us. It's not just something. And then, and then, and then Drewski, I saw as well. Then Drewski's fucking with you after that, isn't it? He, he put, them man are cool. He put Drewski onto it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, now Drewski's touched the ends and I'm hearing he's on the song. Okay. And we're linking him at the babe store. Mm. And then, yeah, he told me Jack put him on. Mm. Yeah, he's sharing stuff, bro. And like, I see you doing this international thing a bit, like, again, like, I see you with 21 Savage and that, it's like, how, because it just looks like everything's happening really fast for you, like, how, and how is that, how did Americans start tapping in? What, what makes you think that, what made you think like, that, that, that drew the Americans to you and to your music in general? Um, you know how it is, bro. With the, with the UK thing, it's rare that a UK song, mm -hmm. that the second... The second country will be America. That's rare. You know what I'm saying? The second countries are always like Germany, mm -hmm. Australia. You know, you know what I mean? So gangs drop and I'm seeing USA. Second. All up to this day, it's been the second. You know what I'm saying? Mad. So I was like, right, this is mad. Like, Americans actually listening to a song with no gimmicks. No, mm -hmm. There's no dance. There's no TikToks. To it, you know what I'm trying to say? It's just a song. Like, gang. That's the mm -hmm. difference with gang. There's no gimmicks bro it's literally a song so I was like right that's mad that they're tapping into that like, it's not nothing that's funny but they usually tap in when it's funny mm -hmm. you know what I'm trying to say but it weren't funny so I was like that's man must take it serious and then I flew over there well let me attack it while it's hot yeah you're not playing bro you got this like you got like the mindset you have is amazing bro it's like you're really like they say strike while the iron's hot you're really just you know what I'm saying you're really like Trying to leave not what I, from from the outside looking in, I'm looking at it as that like you're really trying to leave no stones unturned. Yeah, do you know what right, I mean? Right, like, right. and I, and I guess it must be from because you waited so long. You're very grateful now, isn't it? At the opportunity, isn't it? Right. Mad grateful. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Man, 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 telling me I'm too humble. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you gotta be. You know, it's been likable in his career. Like, I remember, I've been here now like eight years, so I've seen so many people have their number, have their moments, and I've seen so many artists unfortunately let it get to their head and lose the humility. And the problem is, is when things slow down a bit, for some artists, it's like, when you're, when you wasn't, when you're not likable and you wasn't liked at the top, and you wasn't humble, the industry is not quick to bend their back for you. And it makes it a lot harder for you to come back up. Whereas if you was a likable person, people are willing to go back and, and, and bend their back for you and help you have those moments again. So it's always important. So I say it's always important. As someone that's been here for a while now, and I've seen people come and go, it's important to um, maintain humility and and people like yourself because you're so humble. Like I think people like myself just will champion you even more. We want to champion you more, even more. You know what I'm saying? So don't 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 change that about you, my brother. Um, I was gonna say, okay, in terms of because there's some young there's young artists up here now. They're probably in a position you was a couple of years ago. Yeah, and like I think it's important for them to get a bit of game. So like in terms of yourself. Cause like yeah. there's so much social media. When you do this music thing, as you know, marketing is every app. It's every app has to be used now. You get what I'm saying? It's not just one app. What's your two apps that you think that help have helped your career at this point the most? Two different apps and why and how? Um, it's like yeah, I say TikTok and Insta. TikTok and Instagram. How how how, how the, um, if you can explain the two the two, maybe the differences and how, or if they're similar, similarities? Um, I say TikTok, TikTok gives you a chance to get out of there, innit? So you have to use TikTok. Like, you could have zero followers, 
But if the content makes sense, you can get out of there. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Insta now, it don't really give you the chance to make it. But once you do make it happen on TikTok, bring it to Instagram the same way you're attacking it on TikTok. So then it builds up your followers and everything on Insta. Mm-hmm. Insta followers are different than TikTok. Then. Once they're locked in, they're locked in. You know what I mean? So what we... you know you've seen people with TikTok accounts of a million followers and once the hype's done, they can't even get 10k views. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So what... YouTube. YouTube's an important place then. Because the fans don't really leave your YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what you're saying, so basically what from what I get from you in a nutshell, what you're saying is TikTok is the is this it's the beginning, it's the beginning of the marketing. Instagram is where your community comes comes to stay, to stick with you. The people that are actually yeah. part of your community. Build the community, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, not, not just casuals, basically. So TikTok, it could be a casuals. Cool, but, but Instagram, you're saying, is where your community comes and follow you and actually messes with you, right? Um, do you use Snapchat? Hey, I just jumped in it, you know. Because I said, someone like you, your brand, I'm not going to lie. Snap- the reason why someone like you, I'll be honest with you, why Snapchat, it, I'll, I'll suggest you, it's important for you. Because especially you travel and stuff like that, um, you're traveling now. You've got a lot of things going on. Like I feel like your young fans, young, the, the young, the young people that t- they love like TikTok and Snapchat, they're thing, in it. So, so, so the, so the people that pop yeah. pop mess with you, um, yeah, yeah, they can follow. You know the bare music where you are at the back. You know the bare music in the background. Yeah, it's my man though. Say, bro. okay. But yeah, I was gonna say. Still coming through. Yeah, but um, your. Your, your, your audience that actually want to watch your day-to-day stuff, stuff that you've got going on, they're going to follow you on Snapchat as well, isn't it? So Snapchat's yeah, yeah. important. Snapchat's important. And then when your Snapchat's open as well, you go viral. So you see certain clips on Snapchat, it doesn't even matter about your following. You just go viral and you get more yeah. fans on there as well. So Snapchat's something important. I think you should... Um... Yeah, man's tapped into it now. Literally, it's, the views have been boosting. Yeah. Again, it's one of them places, but you just got to keep posting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every every it's mad we live in time where everything is a different media. Like it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Bro. But you, you lock them all in. Yeah. Man. But you kind of understand the marketing, and I rate one thing. Um, one thing I, I I I rate your model. You understand more than a lot of other artists. A lot of other artists is, they don't really understand. I think the the step by step you done, the blueprint you done is the exact model you should use in twenty twenty four. A lot of artists, particularly the older ones, what I tend to find is they still playing on a model when they came out. And that that, yeah, yeah. that way of doing things doesn't work anymore, if I'm honest with you. That way of doing, that way of doing things, like, even, for example, the, even when they come to blogs, like, you don't, to me, you don't come to blogs first no more. <laughs> like, you don't, you, you come to blogs once the motion's going, that's accelerating, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? And I think you, you're, you're someone I rate, you really, really understand it. You know what I mean? Um, so I was going to ask you, okay, gang's going off. I know that, Labels, offers are coming in it. I know people are re- like, what, what's made you decide to remain independent? Um, because I know that right now your stocks are high, you can you can command a sizable fee if you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now man's just taking the risk of like, um, get building my work. I don't feel like I can build my work of one song, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I said to myself, let me drop at least everything I want to drop and then deal with that after. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's the risk I'm going to take. Yeah, but at the same time, you, you, you're probably, you're taking back a lot more on the back end. You have a lot more control, right? Yeah. And you have a lot more say. And like I said, the, the team at Great Big Up, because a lot of time, we come, people come on platform and we speak bad on like labels, distributors. So, but I can personally say from my side, I've seen the way graduation have supported you. So um, I'm going to shout them out. And obviously you said it as well, isn't it? So you can feel it. So big up. Cause, because all the, all this stuff is a team effort, right? It's not, you can't just do it alone, right? Yeah, you can't. You can't do it alone. Yeah, fine. So it's a team effort. So big, big them up. Um, and yeah, the two things I'm going to ask you, two more questions and wrap it up. I was going to say one, like wireless congratulations on that as well. Um, again, you wasn't original on the bill, was you? It was a last minute thing, right? Last minute, feel like a week before. So what's happened? They've hit you. Is it because someone's dropped out, or because you because you, you've got so much motion? They thought, let me just. I don't know. They never told me. I just they just came out of the slot. And then how did it feel for you, man? Like having work? Because this time last year, I know, like I know, like it was a different. Like you're seeing other lineup. You're 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 thinking, Flair, man. Where's my where's my moment gonna come? 
How does it feel? I was more happy that I was acknowledged, innit? I yeah. weren't I weren't really mad happy to like fully get on the stage and shut it down. Yeah. Because I feel like that moment's gonna be way bigger. That's like main stage and yeah. you really hits hundred millions of streams, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But I was more happy that bro man got acknowledged and booked. That that's what made man yeah. Well, congratulations, my brother, man. Big up, man. And um, uh, last thing I'm going to ask you is um, how, for people that are watching, like obviously they're waiting for, they're probably going to wait for that this big moment, a big song for them. How does life change when you get a song like this that's going like that? Does, does your life change? Does it change? Or how has life changed? I would say, obviously, getting noticed, you get so got a step different. Mm. Especially if the scene that I'm in, you know what I'm saying? Mm. People move weird, bro. <laughs> okay. Yo, people move weird, bro. Like, this is mad, like, like this, I don't know, man. People move weird, bro. Like, like how? Really <laughs> how? Like, like weird. That, that's very vague. How can I say it? They, what's the most problem I've been dealing with, dude? Like, People just, I don't know, like, you're important to them now. That's what I'd say. Mm. Your, your, your life and you, so talk about me, I'm important to them now. So mm. anything I do is a big deal now. Mm. So if I miss a message, it's a big deal. Mm. But before when I was missing messages, or I didn't, so you didn't care. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You didn't care about man like that. You didn't really care about what I was doing. But now, whatever I do is just a big deal to man. Like, mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Do you know what's mad? You're right, because it's 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 literally that everything everything's magnified. Yeah, do you get it? Yeah. It's because of who you are now. Everything's magnified, like you're saying. You could you could have you could be going through whatever you're going through before busy and not get yeah. back. No one's gonna think nothing of it. But now it's like, oh, who do you like, who 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 does he think he is now? Like like well, stuff like that, do you know what I mean? Exactly. So that's why I say everything you do just becomes an issue. Like everything's just important now what you do. That's the, that's part of the witch I've noticed. Yeah, but you know what, my brother? I'll tell you something. Yeah, you see this moment. You can only live this moment like once. This like this this where everybody champion you, where you're like the underdog, where you're new. So one thing I'll say, bro, literally just try and enjoy the process in it. Don't try and put too much pressure on you yourself. Don't try and look at numbers and like try and match that number. Just enjoy this because you this is you've waited for this a long time. A lot of people would love to be in your shoes. It's been a long journey, like actually enjoy it actually enjoy it actually have fun don't let no one bring you don't let no one bring bad vibes to you and just and just keep the right energy enjoy it keep tapping into your greatness and and long may your success continue my brother man appreciate that bro honestly bro love for always supporting as well bro come on man come on man but anyway my bro i got the man on the phone man all the time yeah love 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 like i said man it's it's from from our point from where we're standing, man, it's just, we love it. Like, we love seeing this moment happen with a new artist. Do you know what I mean? We love, and we want to we wanna champion it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, it makes it even better that you're a humble brother. You feel me? Yeah. All right, my brother. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. If there's anything else, is there anything you want to add to the, to just end it up to? Um, look out for the new music. Keep streaming, bro. Appreciate everyone for what you've done with Gang. Yeah, bro, it's new music, bro. It's, I want everybody to just keep tapping in. So. Yeah. Uh, and quickly before I go, why wasn't it... Do we miss an opportunity not doing a remix, what do you think? Oh, with the remix again? Yeah, I think that would have been a moment, you know. I feel like, yeah, but... I feel like a lot of... I feel like a lot of the biggest artists... Yeah. That, that we actually rate haven't done remixes for their stage. Oh, yeah. Song. Okay. I feel like I know why. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I feel like I know why. Yeah. And I also feel like I'm going to be one of the greats. So, yeah. That's you know what? Yeah. Man, respect that. You ain't going to say no more after that, my brother. You get it? Man, respect that. But anyway, my brother, um, we'll keep supporting, we'll keep locking in, and anything you need, shout me for anything, innit, my brother? Yeah? Appreciate you, bro. Say no more. All right, gang.